Edit. <laughs>Preparing this, just going to hit the back once again with a little bit of uh, the alcohol solvent. It's just just soften it. Yeah, and that just so it it, it it just softens it, and then it all just the orange peel effect and the cracks and the crazing. Yeah, it just all melts melts in. You could have had a clean cloth, by the way. <laughs> that is a bit grubby. A bit, yeah. Should we get a clean cloth? Yeah. Is that feeling sticky as you're doing? Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> super jumbo, it is then. Not less um, yeah, that wasn't really than the at all. Okay. I'll take some cheese. Uh, oh. And almost melt some of these. You actually need them. Yeah, I need to, I need to mm. chop it yeah, up. Yeah, I can see how you're doing it. Okay. I'm not picking it, so that won't be easy. Yeah. 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 So now I'm to push against it. Yeah. Grab our polish. Same process as before. Are you happy about this crack here? It's, it's not quite together, but uh, are you happy to just carry on with that the way it is? Um, rather than try and sand it down or anything? Is that... If you want to. But it, it's being honest. You can feel that there's a crack there. Yeah. <laughs> I like honesty in a guitar. <laughs> it's a good trade. And we're going to use that. It's in one here. Once it kind of builds up a yeah. soak, it's good to kind of keep using that a little bit. going away from the edge, never onto the edge. Right. Yeah. Once it starts dragging, that's the time to recharge, is it? Yeah, on a wider surface like this, we'll have to recharge more frequently yeah. um, than with the trash bit. Yeah, as soon as you're dragging, you're taking off finish, so you'll be applying still on the stage. Mm. All right, so, got kind of that quadrant. With a fair amount of finish on it for this coat. Um, it's just starting to tack up, so we're now going to go in and kind of be a little more aggressive and just start furnishing.
drag very quickly. Yes. It's certainly grabbing. I'll just keep pushing against it, yeah? Yeah. Blending well, so we're getting a witness or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Is it worth doing circular motion at all, or just keep going straight? Um, I would go with the ground in this particular instance. Yeah. all over this or would you, would you not? Um, at the very end, it's more of a final polish sort of. Right, just to keep keep it working smoothly and getting a getting more of a polish on. Yeah. So at this stage not worth doing. We can leave that. That's um that's really homogenized all of the small mm. uh, cracks and pitting that we saw yeah. on the surface. So is there, is there a a rub mark there where I think somebody had it, not me, mm -hmm. had it on a surface and was doing something and it was rubbing on it, but uh, I I was concerned when I was, because I, 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 I did various bits inside and I was sanding and, and I was concerned that I would had it on the bench and I'd rubbed a hole in it just there. But because I'm documenting everything <laughs> on camera, I went back to the very first video I took of it mm -hmm. and you can see that mark clearly. Uh, and I thought, oh yes, it's not me, it was already there. <laughs> so at 1200? Uh, 15. 15. Just to see. drag a bit now, is it? Yeah. Just to show that I am actually doing some of this. <laughs> and that's just recorded me saying that. Oh well, never mind. Edit! <laughs> to get right in there so that the so that the rosette the purfling or whatever you want to call it is uh, yeah consistently clean which is easier said than done it's uh, there's a lot of gunk on top of it of some sort Thank you. 
such a close fit that I can't get the uh, pegs in with the... Uh... <laughs> it's a good sign. I don't think this is the sharpest scalp of the That's Yeah. Uh, These fresh scalpel blades certainly so makes a difference. Mm. Close. <laughs> In line with the shrinks. Okay, so here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, excellent. So I don't want to touch the surface of the guitar if at all possible. Yeah. Uh, so to about that kind of distance away. So just a very light touch. Yeah. Soaking in. Mm -hmm. It's very dark. Oh, I'm going to move the edge. And this is the this is the tricky thing, isn't it? I want to try and get the points on the the fad, but yeah. What should we do about the oh, well on the fretboard? I guess can't avoid. We can't avoid it to a certain degree, can we? Yeah, um, we can go back and scrape the fretboard after. Right.
thickness is very visible, so I'm just going to scrape the finish off here and try reapplying potassium permanganate. Next experiment. Yeah. 